In this tutorial, I'll show you what you need to know to get started with Dorna. There are three ways to install Dorna. The first, type pip install Dorna. I've already installed Dorna, so my output will look a little different than yours. You can also get the Dorna API directly from the GitHub page. On the GitHub page, navigate to release and download the source code. Once you've downloaded the source code, unzip the file, change into the directory, and run the setup script. Python setup.py install. There's one more way to install the API. Run this command. I would pause the video here and copy it down. This command will return the latest version number. Then use git clone and that version number under the branch tag and directly clone the repository. Then again, change into the directory and run the setup script. Python setup.py install. Once you've installed the Dorna API, Start an instance of Python, and let's start with initialization. To initialize the Dorna API, type from Dorna, import Dorna. Then let's initialize the robot object. Type robot equals Dorna. Before we get started, we need to update the firmware and connect to the robot. Type robot.update firmware you should see the following output. Once your firmware is updated, Let's connect to the robot. Type robot.connect, and you should see the following output. When the connection process is over, you should see the following output. If you've connected successfully to the robot, your connection parameter should be 2. Now that we're connected to the robot, it's important to set Dorna to a known position. This process is known as homing. If you type robot.homed, you'll notice that every joint has a parameter of 0. This means that none of the joints are homed. So to home the joints, let's start with J0. Type robot.home J0. And you should see the robot start the homing process. You'll notice that once the homing process is done for J0, the JSON output for J0 will change from 0 to 1. Now let's home the rest of the joints. Type robot.home J1. Let's continue with robot.home J2. And finally, type robot.home J3. Homing the J3 joint will also home J4. Now your robot is in a known position. You can check this position by typing robot.position. You'll notice that J0 is at 0 degrees, 
J1 is at 145 degrees, J2 is at minus 90 degrees, and J3 and 4 are at 0 degrees. Now let's play some simple commands. We'll type out our command in the form of a JSON object. For this tutorial, we'll use a simple move command. So type command move prm, and then in prm, type path joint movement we want in absolute coordinates so type 0 and we'll move j0 to minus 45 degrees then type robot.play to watch the command now let's try moving in relative coordinates let's move j1 minus 10 degrees so let's take our command change the movement to 1 and let's move j1 minus 10. Now you can play the command. And you can play it multiple times. Each Dorna object has a submission queue, which holds all of the commands. Commands in the submission queue will be sent to the robot one by one. Now instead of moving in the joint space, let's move in a line. change path to line. We'll keep it in relative coordinates and let's move in the Z direction minus four. Let's play that command. The tip of the robot will move down four inches in a line. And we can move it back up by changing minus four to four. You can also move more than one joint at a time. Let's go back to absolute coordinates and return the robot to its starting position. Let's make sure we're in absolute coordinates, so movement is zero. Let's change J0 to zero, J1 to 145 degrees, J2 to minus 90, and J3 and 4 will set to zero. And let's play that command. These were some of the basic steps to get you up and running with Dorna. For a more in-depth look at the API and all of the commands, you can refer to the Dorna documentation in the Dorna wiki.